Hey everybody. Um, so today I want to talk about, did Jesus come here to the American continent? Yes, he did. And so I want to talk about that today real quick. Um, so here I have um, my Holy Bible, right? And I use the King James Version. Um, I love the Bible. I know that it is true and I know that it is the Word of God. And um, in the Bible we read about uh, the birth, the life of Jesus Christ, uh, his crucifixion, and his resurrection. And we read about uh, his teachings among the people there in Israel. He taught them about faith and repentance and baptism. He taught them about the Holy Ghost or the Comforter, right? Um, and in John chapter 10, Jesus teaches them, he tells the people there are other sheep that are not of this fold, and they too will hear my voice. So he's talking about he's, there's other people um, that are not here, and they will hear my voice. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, so when when Jesus was on the earth there in Israel, we know that um, he healed the sick, he raised the dead, he performed a lot of miracles, and. The people there, there were many people there that didn't believe him. They they didn't believe that he was the son of God. They um, called him a liar and they ridiculed him. They said he was crazy, that he was a madman. And uh, because of all of that, he, they crucified him, right? And we know that that happened. And um, we can read about the crucifixion. And in Matthew chapter 27, it talks about it. And it talks about how after Jesus died on the cross, after he gave up the ghost, there was a, a great earthquake. And it talks about how the temple, the veil of the temple was, was rent from top to bottom, right? And, and the rocks were rent and there was just this earthquake, okay? Now this earthquake didn't just happen over there on Calvary or in Israel. That earthquake was felt all over. And it was felt here on the American continent. And the people here, uh, they had prophets. They, God had called prophets to help teach them about the Messiah, a savior that would come and redeem his people, that would die for the sins of the world. And these prophets told the people here on this on the American continent that um, they needed to look for the signs, the signs of the savior that would come and, and redeem his people. And one of those signs was this great earthquake. And so um, when, after Jesus died, he, we know on the third day that he was resurrected. And because of that, we will all be resurrected. And so he then first appeared to Mary Magdalene and um, he appeared to, to everyone, right? And he uh, invited them to feel the prints of the nails in his hands and in his feet. And he said, I, I have a body of flesh and blood. And we read that he, people were, didn't believe in he said, go and get fish and honeycomb and I'll eat it and prove to you. I'm not a ghost. I'm not a spirit. I have a body of flesh and bone and I was resurrected. And so after he taught them, he stayed with them for a while and, and he taught them and then he left. And that's where this comes in. Okay. The Book of Mormon. And this is, we know, so we have the Bible, right? We have the Old Testament and the New Testament. This is just another testament of Jesus Christ. It teaches about him. And so this took place here in the Americas, right? On this American continent. And so that earthquake came and people were gathered around and they were talking about it and they were wondering, wow, like the prophets were right. The, the, the savior is coming. And uh, they were just kind of discussing about everything that was going on. And then they heard a voice. They heard the voice of God. And God said, um, he spoke to them and he said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And so when they heard that voice and heard, this is my beloved son, after that, they saw a man descending from heaven and he was in a white robe and they thought it was an angel, but it was not an angel. And so this man speaks to them and he says, behold, I am Jesus Christ whom the prophets testified shall come into the world. And they stood there and he, and he speaks more to them. And then he invites them. He says, come up and feel the prints of the nails in my hands and in my feet. And so 
they all go up and it says they went up one by one, right? Until they had all gone up and it says, and when they had all gone forth and witnessed for themselves, they did cry out with one accord saying, Hosanna, blessed be the name of the most high God. And they did fall down at the feet of Jesus and did worship him. That's so beautiful. And I want you to know that I know that the Book of Mormon is true. It is an account of the people that lived here and that loved God. And there were wars and all of these things happening. And there were prophets that taught the gospel, the pure truths, um, those plain and precious truths that have been lost over time. Um, I love I love my scriptures. And I know that these scriptures are the word of God and that we can get answers to our prayers. Anything that we're going through, we can read these scriptures and we can find peace and answers to our questions. Why are we here? Where did we come from? What happens after we die? And I know that you can know that these things are true. If you get on your knees and pray and ask God, if you have any questions, I would encourage you to go to mormon.org and you can chat live with missionaries there. Any question that you may have, you can ask them and they will answer you. Um, I love the gospel. I love my savior. I know that he lives and that because of him, because of his great sacrifice, I know that I can be forgiven of my sins and that one day I will be resurrected. I know that that's true. And I share these things with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.